And welcome back everyone, Ellington here and we are back on Total War Rome 2 and we have got a 2 versus 2 on none other than the settlement of Berdegala, the famous settlement. This one is common, you guys know it, players love it. And once again, a 2v2 this time. Um, it's a decently quick battle as well, probably due to the fact that it's only a 2v2. Starting off with the players, we have got Tylus being commanded by Cadronomial and Swaby being commanded by Hopper. I think it's, yeah, Hopper. We've got Carthage on attack being commanded by Upbeat Goat. And finally, Bowie Eye being commanded by X Fax. Now this is an interesting attack. We don't usually see an attack on this part of the wall. Typically on Bertigala, the place that is attacked is this part of the wall due to all of its angles and stuff that you can get from the outside. But this way, they're going for a straight out, all out attack. Now, interestingly though, the defenders do not seem very interested in defending straight up to the wall. Looks like they actually plan on allowing them a little bit of breathing room to get on the walls here. Usually what you typically see on this side is you'll see a line kind of like that that allows the enemy in and then they just javy the crap out of you. Now over here, Carthage also coming into this side of the wall. Swaby is moving up some units here. We've got some club levy. We've got Celtic warriors in, in uh, you know, support of it, excuse me. Got some blood sworn over here. We got some Celtic warriors, club levy, a little bit of everything. Celtic or Kimbri bowmen, excuse me. And then you have a bunch of tribal warriors in reinforcement. Carthage now dropping on the walls. We've got mercenary Iberian swords, Libyan infantry, two units of mercenary Iberian swords, and then you can see the Celtic warriors of Bowie I. Um, only two of these towers are going to be able to drop here. I don't think these two, this one might be able to. Then we got more mercenary Italian swords now. And they are just dropping everything right off the bat. Bowie I has all of his O sworn back here by his artillery. His artillery has taken a couple shots. He's got seven kills. Libyan infantry charging in. Blood sworn, you gotta be hitting these charges. And they need something. So this like Celtic warrior should be set up right behind it. Blood sworn charging in over here. They've got 47 kills. The Club Levy shifting over towards the gate, probably to defend that right there. We also have tribal warriors on the way. Blood Sworn defending the gate. This is actually a pretty dirty combo. Uh, the combo of like a tribal warrior, Blood Sworn. If they can get some good cycles on those, they'd be very, very good. Iberian Swords breaking on the walls here. They've got 22 kills. 28 kills. I think this is another reason this is probably a short battle. Celtic Warriors now at 58, well, 61 out of nowhere. Libyan Infantry with 26. And they've actually kind of gotten into a formation up on the wall. What they really need right now is another unit. This is the spot right here. You have a unit that's holding. So they need another unit to get up these walls and continue pushing. If they don't get another unit there, they're kind of screwed. Phalerix, Cretans, Celtic Bows. Oh man, I I really wish Bowie I was sending some units up here. Probably something else here, and then they definitely should be putting something here. Everywhere else. I mean, this is, they've got a little bit of foothold here, so same thing. Get more units on the wall. But look at this massed attack by Carthage. 
We actually have some Thracian warriors here taking on these Italian swords. Get some cycles in here. 40 kills on the Thracian warriors, 59 on the club levy. Huge mosh pit here, Sam Knight warriors. Going against some um, club levy and uh, Celtics. A bunch of their infantry is miles away and I don't get why. Bring your stuff forwards. You know, have it ready to defend. Unfortunately, the opening that they had here is now gone. The, the Celtic that was next to it is a free unit now. So it can basically, you know, respond to any units they put up now. Artillery firing. I think they're firing at the cliff top. Realistically, though, you have... Wait a minute. Oh, come on, Tylus. Balearic slingers for Tylus. Get out of here. Oh, my gosh. Cheap. I don't like it. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Club Levy now breaking. Thracian Warrior is going to now go back into the combat. Not a very good charge. Look at this, this haphazard charge that's happening. They do have 79 kills so far, but they're really missing out on a really impactful charge here. Archers shooting in to the Italian swords. Well, they've got a lot of infantry here just waiting to go in. I would bring this tribal over here and kind of set up with this blood sworn or the club levy. 90 kills on the club levy. Cretan archers are now onto the walls all by themselves. Once this Libyan infantry dies, the those Cretans are screwed. They're SOL. Rot row. Kimberly Bow Women have 72 kills. We got some Thracian warriors. And once again, they continue to shoot this cliffside, and it's just not worth it. They should have shot up here. Like, this artillery position is actually pretty good if you're going to attack this area. I mean, you have range on everything the defenders had, and they didn't shoot it. Now it looks, are they, oh man, these sword followers are going up like five minutes too late. But Bowie Eye does seem to be finally having a little bit of a foothold now. Um, actually, like some of these places are in a little bit of trouble. Are they going to try and go in on this? Thracian warriors pushing up and then another unit pushing up here. Kimberly Bow shooting the Cretan archers. Got sword followers, Celtic warriors. More Celtic warriors. Tribal warriors are going to beat those, though. Celtic warriors versus uh, the Blood Sworn. The Blood Sworn is about out of this. They're going to have to think about putting something there. Levy Freeman. Carthage has quite a bit on here now. A bunch of Libyan infantry. We got some Italian swords. And then that's most of their army, honestly. But we I need to be moving these guys like five minutes ago. Taking long shots back here. They must have caught a glimpse of these units back here or they're just guessing that there's units back here. I wonder if he doesn't know how to stop it firing there. Got some, th now we got sword masters moving up. So we got a combination of Thracian warriors, tribal warriors, sword masters, to an, a, an immense counterattack happening from the defenders. A bunch of heavy hitters moving up now. Some sword masters over here would do pretty well. The archers, well, now they're moving over there, but I was going to say the archers were kind of all the way over here. But I still think it'd probably be worth putting this, you know, a couple sword masters here. Yeah, I think they put two over here, so bring the other two to this side. Club levy, 49 kills. 
This one just got kind of obliterated. Tribals are fresh. They just literally just went in, looks like. Now the Kimbri bow women are getting shot at by all these Celtic bows, but the Celtic bows kind of layered on top of each other, and that kind of hurts the capability of the unit for firing properly, getting good volleys. Bounce power is actually dead even. But the problem is, is I think that what if part of what they need to break this is just now moving and they're walking. That's the other problem because you have to, you know, now they're moving fast, but now when they get up here, they're going to be exhausted, man. But you need them like yesterday and you know it now, which is why you're rushing them forwards. Looks like the artillery is out of ammo. 68 kills. I think, man, just a lot of wasted ammo on that. Just basically shooting nothing up here on this cliffside. You know, you get the oddball kill on one of those slingers, but realistically, not much. Sword follower, 141 kills, but man, he's weak. Can't take on that tribal warrior anymore. Tribal is getting shot though. Cretan Archer's getting some shots in on him. Thirty-four kills. Sword masters forty-nine. All these sword followers are beat up. Tribal Warriors, this one's pretty beat up, 289 kills. I think this is the one that's been kind of over in this area for most of the game now. Celtic Warriors with 55. And there's the Sword Masters. Well, at least one unit. Looks like they're still holding one unit, kind of in reserve here in the middle. 54 kills on the Kimbri Bows. Look at this one, 223 kills. Nicely done. Sword followers 76, 71 on the Libyan infantry. Sam Knight's getting, that's a bad, oof. It's a great shot by the Kimbri Bowim, and look at this, right into their sword side. Basically, because this unit is facing like this, the Kimbri Bows have literally a perfect shot at it. And here's the Osworn finally getting here. They're active. Hopefully, so he did bring second win, so hopefully he's using this. Where did, I thought he had more than two extra. Maybe he did, just had the three. Now the tribal warrior general is in, Osworn again. And he's actually like, you know, kind of beefing this up here. He's fresh, 160. Swordmaster's got 79 kills and lost, what, 22? I'm feeling 22. Tribal's 217. I hate to say, like, the sword, sword followers are a great unit, but by the time they got into combat, they're, they were already just beat up. Swordmaster's at 106 kills, lost 33. This is a, it's pretty beat up. It's at half health, but only 72 kills. There's the the, the uh, head hunt here by the sword master. He's only got 20 men left, 109 kills. So he's been, I wonder, I bet these archers have been shooting him up. Celtic bow 79, 52. This one's 24. So a couple of them still have plenty of ammo. Cretan with 113. But now watch this roll up. The problem being that as they do that, they're exposing them to lots of death from the outside. The Kimbri bow women and these Blerics, if the Blerics can get on this wall, they can push them back. But until they do, they are sitting ducks to those archers. 
There's the Bowie Eye General now getting in. So now you got Osworn, Osworn, Osworn. Man, this is just uh, getting a little slim, though. 94 kills. I think this just kind of goes to show that this part of the map is really just not a very good place to attack. When attacking any place that's basically just a straight on assault is probably not the best place to go. While, like we said earlier, you look at places like this and there's a lot of angles that can be taken advantage, you know, by the attackers instead of just taking a straight on attack. At that point, you're basically just playing into the enemy's hands where you're giving them a straight up fight but now they've got the defensive position. They've got the first, you know, hit basically because you getting on the walls, you're still strung out. You're still, you know, your unit is still unformed. So it just kind of, it kind of hurts things a little bit for him. So until you can realistically get a really good angle or a advantage on the defender, you kind of just, you know, beating your head against a wall. And I hate to say, I don't think these Osworn are really realistically going to get very many kills here because honestly, they're just overwhelmed, you know? This one's down to 61 men already and only has 71 kills. That's really not what you want to see. And you can see now the balance power has shifted quite a bit towards the defenders. All these archers are getting on the walls, but here in a minute, they're just gonna get, you know, I mean, like, Balearics actually, or no, these are Celtics, not Balearics. Hmm. Celtics actually have a great shot here. And they've kind of just started shooting. They've got 26 kills. Wonder if the Swordmaster General is going to go help finish things off. The other Swordmaster going back in. This one's pretty healthy, 151 men. This one a little under half health with 193, I think it was. Yeah, look at the Osworn. They're just overwhelmed. They just, you know, Osworn are really good, but they can't take on two, three units at a time. And the defenders have quite a bit left. And as you can see, I think that is a GG. I think this is one of those matches that some people may ask, why, why cover a match like this? It really, you know, there wasn't a lot very interesting. It wasn't super close, wasn't down to the wire. But I think sometimes videos like this are good to kind of show why certain things are not suggested. You know, I think a couple things here, holding units way, way in the back while you have an assault going on up here, not a very, not, not a great idea. A um, little bit better usage of your artillery on these really exposed positions for the defenders is probably the way you would want to go. Um, but honestly, the biggest mistake is just that head on attack is just. It's tough, man. It is a very difficult thing to pull off. You know, maybe if their artillery had been able to hammer this area, well, it, it was able to, but it, they didn't. You know, they wasted so much ammo shooting up here. And I know I've said that a couple times, but I think it was a very important reason as to why this didn't go very well. You know, if you can hammer this area, the defenders can't just layer things on you. And then that allows you as the attacker, maybe a slightly better ability to get onto that wall and attack. Let's go look at some kills. Now remember, because it's a 2v2, we're not going to see as crazy amount of kills as usual. For the defenders, Tylus, we have got Cadronomial with 2,192 kills. And the you know, obviously Blaric Slingers don't belong on Tylus, but they did well. Osworn, 105 kills. All of his tribal warriors did very well. 220 on this one.
Uh, we've got Swaby here. Now, uh, Swaby is the person who sent in the the uh, battle on Discord. His name is Cornelius Caesar. 2,383 kills, leading the entire game. Kimbry Bowman did excellent. Bloodsworn did really well, honestly. 175 on this one. Club Levy did basically what they needed to do. And then, obviously, Swordmaster's coming in and batting cleanup. For the attackers, we have Upbeat Goat with Carthage, 1565. Libyans, they did fine. The Celtic or the Cretans did fine. That's kind of the, the gist here. They kind of just all did fine. X Fax as Bowie Eye, 1634. Um, I really would have liked to see a bit more sword followers here. Um, the Celtic Bows, they did, you know what I mean? But that's about it. You know, Osworn really just didn't get a chance to actually have a fight. So, you know, it is what it is. You take that with a grain of salt and uh, move on. So this is it for today's battle. Thank you guys so much for joining. Don't forget that if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. and We'll see you guys next time.